go. I see Christmas stuff. Christmas. Okay, let's go around to find some Christmas stuff. The party invitations. I've already filmed all this before. This is the whole Halloween aisle and I can talk right now because there's no music on the radio playing, it's just the DJ talking. I got these socks. Yes, I know. I'm sorry I'm walking fast, but I, like I said, I've already filmed all this. So I'm just trying to get around because I've seen Christmas stuff. Let's go find the Christmas stuff. Oh, look at this. It's so cute. It's pretty. It's got pom-poms on the corners. <laughs> it's got some holes in it, though. Got some gloves. Those are pretty. They're always too big for me though. <coughs> nah, I'm not getting the Christmas stuff here. No. Himalayan salt. No Christmas stuff in the boxes. I love this iridescent colors. I love it. Especially on cards. I love it. I love it. Okay, so it's still all the same Halloween stuff. Okay, so they only have a small section of Christmas. A very small section of Christmas. Let's see. Oh, look at this moose. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to turn these guys. Watch them be like four dollars. Close, three fifty. That's insane. But I like him. He looks like he's crazy. A crazy moose. This guy. This guy. What are you choking on, bud? Your milk? Anything else down there? No. Snowflakes. The stars are nice. <coughs> nice. This is old stuff that they have every year. Nothing new. This is new ish. Instead of on a pick, it's in a little bag. Mini ornaments. And we got all those. Those are all the same stuff. So this dollaram is a little bit behind than all the other dollaramas. All right, let's go. Oh, they got birdies. See what else they got. Some skeletons. Third cash. Third cash. Ooh, they got suspenders. Look at that. Four bucks. I would get it just for the bow tie for a little guy here. And this one. This is so cool. Oh, even the glasses have like the white tape on it. Oh, that's hilarious. Clown. Skeleton. Well, 
Well, still no music on the radio. It's just commercials. This is great. Makeup. Let's see, anything new here? Still same old Betty Crocker stuff. I love these, the marble. But I don't like using plastic or nylon, whatever that is. I don't even know if you able to pick up my phone. Sometimes it never does. I always pick up the background. Oh, look at these. They've already got a little bow on them for you. I love this little copper. I wonder if there's any other copper tools. That's really nice. Four dollars. Cookie cutter. Slip. Oh, they're for the cups. How are they getting that shape? No, see that's wrong. It's the cup would go here between his legs. Two dollars, so that's not bad. This is good. The Onida brand. Onida. Oil spray. Spray oil. Don't get clogged. <gasps> Look at this. Copper bread knife. They have the farmerware steak knives here. Big lots. That's American. That's crazy. I still have a nine dollar sticker on it. They're really nice. Let's grab some of those. And what did I want here? I really like this. But I don't think I'm going to get it. So I'm probably not going to make any cookies. This is nice. But I already have a bread knife and I don't need any more knives. Even though I just picked up those steak knives. Oh, look at these. How do you call them? Like tibbets or something? Hot plates. Hey, you dropped your milk. Why are you throwing your milk down? Stop throwing your milk. Yeah, stop throwing your milk. Oh, I do need tin foil. Where's the tin foil? Oh, they have Betty Crocker brand. Hmm. 75 feet. Let's get that. I don't know how much it is. Three dollars. And I need some snack bags. Eighty. Do you have Ziploc snack bags here? No. Two fifty for eighty. Right. Hey, stop dropping your milk, bud. And the music started again on the radio. I picked up some rubber gloves. I've had these before. They are actually really nice. They're lined and fuzzy inside. So I grabbed a pink pair. And what else? The regular cleaning stuff. Oh, I loved these, these fridge liners. They had this one with a gray pattern design on it. These rolls were huge. And then they had this blue one that I really liked. But I, just, I did not pick any up because I didn't feel like doing all the cutting and measuring and cleaning out my fridge. And there's the blue pattern. I like that one. And they had the non-slip surface ones. Again, just like a liner. They had these nice shower curtains. They were actually like thick. They weren't like that flimsy kind that you normally get at the dollar store. But this splash pattern, I think I've seen before somewhere else, but I can't remember where. For $4, they are really nice shower curtains. And then they had these ones, just with the different patterns. They came with the hooks, and these were also um, a nice plastic. Not the flimsy kind, and this pattern I really liked. But I do not have a blue washroom. And they have the regular stuff here. Um, another hook, an Almer's brand. I've never used that brand before. I don't know if it would work as well as the scotch kind. 
And this pantry rack, I picked up one of these. They were actually nice and sturdy and a heavy metal and not like the flimsy kind. So we'll see how that works out in my pantry. And they had boxes of tiles. You get 20 in a box for $4. I couldn't believe it. They did have tiles before when they first came out with them, you, but they were all single. I think they were like three, four dollar before when they first came out, or four, four dollar, I can't remember. But this whole box for four bucks for 20 tiles. Peel and stick, do it yourself, not too bad. And these drink cups were cute. A little Coca-Cola. They had three different patterns. These ones were only for cold drinks. I couldn't get it open. Oh, four patterns. Right, the blue one. Yeah, just for cold drinks. Do not shake the carbonated drinks. All right, and these ones I really liked with the. I like the lid, like a pop cap. And this blue one, I like the blue pattern. And these ones were for hot or cold. I don't know how it would keep hot though. And these were just their regular ones they had. This was a new brand. These were actually like a thick plastic. These were cute to always be a unicorn. You got four of them. And this was interesting. You can actually like squeeze your lemon or orange right into your bottle. I think they're also plastic though, not glass. I like these ice cube trays. They kind of can just pop out with the rubber backs. And then they had these salt pepper shakers. I like the color on those. They weren't like gold, but they weren't bronze. It's kind of something like in between. And these were new. I haven't seen these before. These were nice. They were glass with the bamboo lid. $3.50. I wish they had bigger sizes or different sizes, but they didn't. These were nice. The Coca-Cola Glassics. You got two of them in the set. And then there were the Corona Pint Glasses. And these, I've only seen these at Sears or The Bay. The Libby brand for sometimes between $15 and $30. They might be at Walmart too now. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Some Maybelline. This is for your brows. A highlight. It was a bit too dark for me. That says deep, but it doesn't look deep. So I, I don't know. I didn't pick it up. And then we had a CoverGirl concealer. Deep again. And the Milani brand. I've never used that brand. I haven't really used any dollar store brand makeup. I had these makeup removing towels. And these were nice. They had some new um, scents. The raspberry. This is a knockoff. The sangria. That one smelled really nice. And I think this next one did too. This blue one. Yeah, this one smelled really nice. The orchid. I did not pick any up because we've got lots. And they had all their gloves out for winter and hats. And more hats. And more hats and scarves. And more scarves. And more hats. This scarf was really nice. It was well done. I think it was nice and thick and heavy. Then they had these sets, Beverly Hills Polo Club. I've never seen them here before. I don't never heard of that brand either. What else? Then they had these slipper socks. I know at Indigo you can get them for like $30. They had this True North brand this year. These ones were huge, really thick with the grips on the bottom. I like those ones, they're so soft with that lining. Then they started putting out all of their little gift boxes for the bath section. Their soaps and bath bombs and whatever else they put in them. 
These two are cute, raspberries and all. This, I'm not sure how it would work. There was a package attached to the side, and but the bottle is empty, so I'm guessing you probably mix it with water and then you can spray it on the snow. Yeah, the snowball maker, and then the fake snowballs. Anything else new? On this side, they have the fructus, a different kind of different herbal essence, and then they have the tresemme line. And the Schwarzkopf line. I don't know. I don't know if I would trust the Schwarzkopf line in the dollar stores. This was nice. I wanted to get it for Paige, but we'd have nowhere to put it. There were silver uh, fringe curtains, and then there was a white one. If they had pink, I might have gotten it, but I don't know if she'd like it. This was amazing. This huge picture frame. For four dollars. I couldn't believe it. It was plastic. It wasn't like wood or anything, but it was big. I had to step back so you get the whole frame in. I couldn't believe it. This too. It was just a cooling towel. You wet it and you stick it on your head. I don't know why you can't just use a regular towel. And yoga socks. Toe socks with grips. But they put the name yoga socks on it. And then they had the same towel, but a bandana. It's reversible. I like these little notebooks with Mickey on them. I think they were lined. Let's see. Yeah, they were lined. I like the pattern, the that second pattern back there. They're just waving at you. It's really cute. And Mr. Caleb decided he wanted to hold on to that. And all their binders. These racks are always a mess. I was looking at this file folder I wanted to get. It had the 12 sections in it, but I did not pick it up. And these sparkly glitter boards, these were so nice and they were thick. They weren't like the flimsy kind either. There was a pink, a silver, and at the bottom there was the gold. I wanted to get all of them, but I do not use clipboards for anything. And this was the last thing. It's just a supply caddy with the three different patterns on it. So that's it. That's my trip to Dollarama. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.